Good morning. We're going to make some uh, stuffed mushrooms today. This is our appetizer of choice. Uh, we're going to start out with some baby bella caps. And what we're going to do, we're going to, first of all, we're going to pop the uh, stems out of there, hollow them out, which just takes a second or so. Um, I like the baby bellas because they've got a little bit more of a meaty flavor to them. Uh, they tend to come out just a little bit darker, which is something that I actually like in appearances for this particular dish. And then the stems, you can see we're reserving those. I'm actually going to chop these up, and we're going to use these in the filling to help bulk it out a little bit. We'll just give it a quick chop. got a nice hot saute pan going. We're going to add a little bit of butter to that. To that we're going to add a little bit of onion. We're going to crank that up nice and high. We're going to add the mushrooms that we chopped up. A little bit of garlic. Some diced red pepper. Give us some good color. And a little bit of parsley, actually. We're going to cook that right in with the rest of the filling. Just going to stir that around a little bit. Get that mixed up nicely. Now, I don't want the onions to brown. I just want them to sweat. Kind of bring the sweetness out of them a little bit. And add just a bit of white wine to that. And whatever you've got left over around the house, either a Chablis or a Pinot Grigio is nice. And just a little bit for some moisture. Now to that, we're going to add some imitation crab. Now the imitation crab, you could use, you know, real crab if you'd like. You get some nice blue crab in the can. Those work well. This is a little bit sweeter. And it actually makes better makes a better stuffed mushroom, frankly. Um, I always get more compliments on this than if I use the real crab, which seems kind of silly, but it's a true fact. So we'll mix that all together nicely. Now, at this point, I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, ground pecan. Some grated Parmesan cheese. A little bit of breadcrumb. The breadcrumb works as a binder. We're just going to give that a quick stir. Mix it all together. So you can see it's a nice meaty filling. You know, it's not just a pile of cheese stuffed in a mushroom cap. These are really, really hearty. So once all of that, uh, the crumbs have moistened up, now we're ready to stuff our caps. Now, if you take the cap, actually bring it into the pan so it almost scoops it up, you can just use that spoon to help it right up inside. It's very easy to load. Just going to help it along there. And it's all right if some of that's hanging out. It really looks good that way. It makes a nicer presentation in the end. Now, if you end up with extra filling, which it looks like I'm going to do here, this is also a great filling to put inside of a steak or use as a topping for some other seafood, maybe some tilapia fillets or something like that. So no sense letting it go to waste. There's always another use for it. Or just get some more mushroom caps and load them up. All right. Now that we've got the uh, caps filled, we're going to come back around with the uh, ground pecan. We're going to give it another little sprinkle of that. Stand that guy up. A little Parmesan cheese. And then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of a butter spray, whatever brand you prefer. It just uh, helps the browning up a little bit, helps that mushroom cook somewhat. We're going to throw that into the oven.
And after about seven or eight minutes, this is how they come out. Nice and brown. We'll set them up on your platter. You get a great appetizer to serve your guests. Take a little more of our parsley. Put a little color onto that plate. And we're ready to serve.